Welcome to Salon Studies. This is a short presentation on the features and functions of the hair and the hair follicle, which accompanies our Level 2 programme and courses. The basic structure of hair and skin. Hairdressing and barbering require a basic knowledge of the parts of the skin and follicle. This presentation will name the parts that you need to know and explain what each part does. The skin has three zones or layers and each one has different functions. In the uppermost layer we can see the epidermis, the outermost layer of the skin. In the middle in zone 2 we see the dermis which is the largest layer of the skin of which the hair follicle extends down into. And then the lowest layer we see the subcutaneous layer, zone 3. The functions of the skin. The epidermis, the outermost layer of the skin here the cells are constantly being shed and replaced. In the middle layer, the dermis, this is situated below the epidermis and contains blood vessels, sweat and sebaceous glands and nerve endings and hair follicles. And then in the lower layer, the subcutaneous layer, which is situated below the dermis, this contains fatty tissue that acts as insulation and protects the internal organs. The parts of the hair follicle. The diagram shows a hair within a follicle. If we look more closely, the lowest part of the follicle is called the dermal papilla, and this is the living, active part of the hair. You can see this highlighted in the diagram with two arrows close to each other of the hair bulb and dermal papilla. The functions of the follicle and dermal papilla. Hair follicle. These are tiny indentations in the skin. The hair that lies below the skin is contained within the follicle. And the hair root. It has different parts, comprising of the dermal papilla and the germinal matrix. Here in this diagram we see the other main parts of the hair follicle. In the upper part of our diagram we see the sebaceous gland. Below this we see the erector pili muscle. And then over to the right we see the blood supply. The functions of these other main structures. The rectal pili muscle. This is a small muscle attached to each hair follicle and to the lower epidermis. It makes the hair stand on end, particularly when you're cold or frightened. The sebaceous gland. These are attached to the hair follicle. They produce a natural oil called sebum, which is secreted onto the surface of the skin. And the blood supply. Nutrients are supplied to the dermal papilla through the blood capillary network. In this final diagram we look at the other structures within the skin. We can see the pore, the nerve endings and the sweat gland. The functions of the sweat glands and nerve endings. The sweat gland. This looks like cord tubes that excrete bodily waste and help to regulate the body temperature by emitting sweat. This terminates at the surface of the scalp as a pore 
and here the bodily waste is excreted from the sweat gland and it appears at the surface of the epidermis. It evaporates into the air and this cools the body down. And finally, the nerve endings. The nerve supply is attached to the dermal papilla. It enables you to feel temperature changes and your hair being pulled. This is the end of this short presentation from Salon Studies on the hair follicle and the features and functions of the skin. Thank you for listening.